Deep dive into our LUTs tool is our topic today. Uh, Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. And no, I'm not live in Kentucky right now. I'm back in Melbourne, Florida, to where um, we came up with some really cool uh, tutorials we want to do throughout the rest of the month. Today's tutorial is on the LUTs tool, and let me show you my screen. I asked my good friend Catherine Federer if we could use her images and the LUTs that she created for these images. Well, first off, let me explain what is a LUTs, all right? So LUTs, or lookup tables, are handy color filters that transform the hue and tones of your digital projects, whether it's fo photos or videos, whatever digital project it is, um, and it'll make it just look really cool, just a few clicks. Um, they're, they're light magic for adding a style or personality to your photos and videos, making them look professional and captivating in no time. So that's what LUTs do for us. Now, let me just show you it in real time. So. Here's one of the images that Catherine took. Now she did do processing to this. So the image, the LUTs is kind of the after uh, tool that she wants to use on this. So she did a really good job at editing this. Now watch the difference when we add a LUTs. So here's before, there's after, look at that. And I'll go to the next one. Here's before, it looks good. Here's after. Look, look how it's changing the way the system is looking. Here it is before. Here, and what I like about this one here is what it's doing is it's desaturating the colors to where it's not as um, overbearing. So here we are before. God, I love these photos she took. And then, of course, after. All right, so let me use this one here. And where do we find it? Well, we're going to come over here to our creative tools. Let me bop that down. Under our creative tools, here's the mood tool. Now, under the mood tool, we're going to choose our LUTs. Now, since I've already installed hers, hers will appear here. Um, what I want to do, though, is this. I'm going to go to, where is it? Um, my custom. So here's my custom LUTs. And these were the ones that she, um, I downloaded from her pack that she gave me. But I'm going to click on the first one, the, the Wonder, what is it? Yeah, the Wonder, the Wonder Folk. Here's the full amount. It's a little overboard. Here's without it. So what you can do with the LUTs, again, remember, it's replacing the colors in the scene. Well, what you could do is adjust the contrast. Saturation, of course, the amount. So you decide how much you want to adjust it from here. So don't just click on a LUT and just expect it to be perfect. Make sure you take control over these sliders here. So these were Catherine. So she did this. What I'm going to do is show you the ones that come with Luminar Neo. So we have cinematic creative, cross-processing, and portraits. So I'm going to come over here to, let's do creative. And now if I just hover over each one of these, it's going to give me an idea of what the LUTs is going to look like. So I'm not going to go through all of them. Oh, actually, that one looks really good. Manhattan. And you know what? Let, let's try, you know, let, let's try the um, the Kodak one. Now, again, here, this isn't without it. This is at full strength. You see it's totally blown out. So I'm going to adjust it slightly. Here's the contrast. This is adding a lot of contrast. This is taking it away. And notice by taking it away, it gives, it doesn't have any of the banding. And then, of course, here we are with saturation. All right. So that was the one that Catherine loaned me. I'm going to take one of the shots I did 
All right, so here we are. So that right there was us. And in fact, you know, I'm so sorry. Let me get back to where. So where did I find that? If I go over here to the Mood Tool, so where do we find these LUTs? Well, if I click on the Mood Tool and I click on Get More LUTs, it's going to take us to the Luminar Marketplace. And then from here, you can see right here is where Catherine had her... Um, the, the wander the wander folk LUTs on the scene here and you can just browse down and if any of these uh, strike your interest you can purchase them from here or what you could do is just search the internet for LUTs and you can get some free ones or paid ones but keep in mind you do get what you pay for there are some out there that have thousands and thousands of LUTs but honestly I don't have time to go through each and every one of them so that's one way Either go to our marketplace, or the second way was go to the internet and do a, um, a search on LUTs, L-U-T-S, free LUTs, paid LUTs, entirely up to you, all right? So that's where we could find them, find other additional ones, or Luminar comes with a host of them for you. So here's Cinematic, and again, I'm going to just apply them to this image here. I'll come down through. Oh, I like this. Oh, all right, here's Long Beach. I like that one a lot. Before, after. Look how it just gives it that little, that finishing touch is what I'm looking at. So desaturate, or saturation, I'm going to desaturate just a little. Bump up the amount just a touch. Contrast. I want a flat look. You know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to give a negative contrast. Well, there we have it. Here's before. Here's after. It, again, it's that finishing touch is what that mood tool is going to do. And that's why it's under the creative um, uh, tool set. So I, let's say I love this a lot. All right. I can come in here and save it as my own preset. And um, let's look. Yeah, Carl, I'm looking at this. I'm thinking vintage. Yeah, th this looks like a vintage look. Let's say version one. All right. So now that I have that saved, I'll just come back in and revert to original. Now when I want to apply the LUT, I did it as a preset. So if I look at my presets, and there it is, the one I created. Now I saved that LUT inside that preset. So that's one way of, of working with a LUT. So now... You know that under Vintage, you're always going to get this look because you applied it. And then from here, I can apply skin softening, enhancing the eyes, and um, different, different edits from there. All right? So that's one way. And if I want to apply it, I'm going to adjust, copy the adjustments. And now let's say I have all of these. Select all, right-click, and paste. So now I just pasted that LUT on all of those images for a uniform look, all right? So now that we have that set, so we understand um, what a LUT is, where do we fi find them, and then of course, I just showed you how to apply it. Well, let's go back to this one here. And by the way, uh, before I show you this other step, it's a little trick I just picked up this morning. Here's one of my favorite, favorite presets that comes with a Lunar Neo, right? I love this look. Now watch what we're going to do. Let's say I don't want this uh, filter effect here, so I'm going to remove that. I like what the LUTs is doing in here. So if you notice, I look at edits. So if you look at any of the presets that come with mood, the Mood tool, it comes with, look at that, with a LUT. Now you can't save that LUT all by itself. You have to save it inside of a preset. So if I really love this, which I really do, I love this a lot. I just want to dial it back just a little. There we go. And let's say that grain, I don't want to use any grain, but I really like this a lot. Well now I can just come down here, save it as a preset, and once again it looks vintage. 
let's say version two. So now what I just showed you there was you copied a LUTs from another preset that was already inside Luminar Neo. So if you really like that particular look and you notice under the edits, oh, they used a LUT to get this effect, you can save it as your own and then apply it from there, all right? So now that we have that set, now let's go back over here to the LUT tool. Since it's already applied, it's right here. All right, so we've already talked about uh, getting more LUTs. Well, now I can add a LUTs, and when I add a LUTs to this, it's gonna save it under here, custom LUTs. So I'm gonna click on add custom LUT. Well, where do we store them? So you download it, from the marketplace or wherever, typically it comes in as a zip file. What I like to do is this, I take that zip file and then I come over here to my pictures folder and my, my photography folder under assets. And again, I created this myself, photography for this laptop. I have another one on my external drives this holds all the images that I work with. Inside that, I created an underscore assets, so it moves to the top. In assets, I have Adobe Camera Raw, background, brushes, Lightroom presets, looks. Here's the LUTs and all of them. So I'm going to double click on LUTs. And if you notice down in here, I already have a ton that I've um, already imported into here. This is where... I would store it. And the reason why I would store it here is when I start to look for a LUT. I'll back out of this. When I come over here, add a LUT. All I need to do is go to that folder, photography, assets, and now I know I stored them under LUTs. And now I look in here and this is where I would apply that LUT. Let's do, you know, let's do a black and white one. And I'll do this. And now I'm going to apply it. And notice it's telling me it's working. But in order for me to get the true black and white, I need to apply it at 100%. Maybe pump up the contrast a little bit. And here we have it. Now if I dial this back, it's going to show some of the color. So remember, if you're dealing with black and white LUTs, keep in mind at 100% is where you're going to get the, the, full, the full black one. And that's a little too harsh for this one. So I do know, let's see. Oh, okay, you know what? Oh, I love that one. So oh, that's the one I would go with. And I believe that was from... Our good friend Jacob Bores. All right, but look at that. Before and after. All right. So LUTs is one of those tools, the mood tool, that lets you after you get done with all your editing and you're like, you know, it's just it's missing something. That's when you try to apply that mood tool and try it out on landscapes. Now keep in mind, if you swap out the colors on a landscape, like you saw what Catherine did there. The reason why hers are very professional, she didn't mess with the sky. So she purposely didn't make sure, made sure that the, the blue sky didn't turn pink or a, a weird color. So when you're looking for LUTs, make sure it's appropriate for the image that you're looking for. So there it is. What, what, a, what we talked about what a LUTs is, then we talked about um, where we could find additional LUTs. And I showed you a little secret that inside Luminar Neo, we do have a bunch of LUTs already included. But if you want more, check out some of the presets that include a LUTs. And it's going to be one of those happy um, circumstances to where you're applying a preset. And when you look at the edits, you're like, oh, wow, they applied a LUT here. And if you want to keep that LUT, then you have to save that as your own preset. And then we talked about where... To store them, and we talked about putting them in our photography folder, create another subfolder, underscore assets, and inside all of that is where we're gonna make sure 
we store all of those images, all right? Or all those LUTs, rather. Now, Catherine, I want to thank you so much for letting me use your images and for applying uh, the LUTs to this uh, topic, all right? Now, let's see if I have it right here. Yes, I do. And that's the user guide. That's where you can find more information. And I am so sorry. I thought I had it. Right there, there it is. All right, so we have Luminar Coffee Break. For those of you that are watching it on YouTube, after this event, we have a 45-minute Ask Me Anything segment where the people that are watching this live on Zoom can ask me any question pertaining to today's topic, future topics, anything with photography, or anything that's happening in our industry, all right? So if you want to be a part of that, jot this down and join us. We are going to be hosting on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, all right? So if you're here, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment. Everyone else, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.